thank you for clicking to this video my friend uh as you see right there that is a chevy truck s10 and i will show you how you can make the carpet just a basic idea there are a lot of different ways how you can make the carpet and this is one way the one where i will show you as you can see how it is it needs to be replaced see the guy who made it make it on two pieces and like i say you can make it in a different ways i'm going to remove this uh, plastic trim on some of those plastic have some screw and on this one you have just click just be careful see right there there is a one metal click and the plastic go inside into that metal i'm going to remove the other one i am not going to show you a hundred percent how you can make it i will put a heel pad in there see the guy put a stitch in there no he didn't put a stitch he just cut him and put a piece of banding in there the material that i will use is a hidden sound insulation i will use that carpet is a cut pile there are a lot, uh, three different uh, cut pile i will use the middle one and i will make a little bit a small that helper because it is too big the one we have right now i am putting a mark right there you might ask what is that mark for that mark is for uh, the new carpet when you're going to install the new carpet you're going to use that mark as a guide so um that's what i am putting those mark in there so and i remove the carpet you're going to remove and clean everything everything like just i did i didn't show you that because that is easy so after I remove the old carpet and the old insulation, I vacuum the floor, I remove everything possible, and you see right there, that is a chipboard. I will add a piece of chipboard in there. You might ask, why is that chipboard? It, did, it didn't have before. Well, it's just to make that part of the floor flat. See right now, I put a chipboard in there, and now it's flat that area. And I will do the same thing on the other side. I put a black mark line all the way up because it will help me with the new carpet. Even, even it will help me with the insulation. Put a lot of glue. Sometimes it is necessary. Sometimes it is not. I will put just a little bit because in case if the customer want to remove the old carpet or want to run wire under the carpet or under the insulation will be easier for them. So I just put in glue on the insulation. Now I am putting glue right here. You have to apply glue on both sides. If you apply glue only on the padding or insulation, but nothing right here, it will be hard to stick in there. So I am making sure to put them enough glue to hold the help uh, the padding in there. And as you can see, I put a, a chipboard in there, and this already have an insulation. I cut a piece 65 by 65. It's not that big. The the width of the carpet is 72 inches wide, and you can see uh, the padding had that black mark too. Like I say, the purpose of that line is to uh, put one mark, one line on top of the other one. That way, it will be easier for you. That pattern have an extra. I will make a cut right here first on the center. The purpose of those cut is, is because uh, you have to mold in the insulation to the floor. If you don't cut, it will be harder for you to mold in. See, I am making some cut in there too. There is a ball and it's hard to cut it. This insulation is hard, but you have to cut it. You see, it has to be sharp. I'm going to make another hole right there because there is another ball and now I just have to make another hole right there for the seat belt and I start molding a little by little you have to uh, mold into the floor and cutting a little by little as you can see And I am removing the remaining pieces that I don't need it. 
There are a few different kind of insulation. This one it is hard to cut it. There are some other ones that are, are easier, even to molding. But this is hard, but this is a good one. I almost finished the passenger side, as you can see it. And I got the passenger side already. I'm going to do the driver's side. The driver's side right here is almost the same as a pass as the passenger side. Almost the same. If we, I recommend you to have a, like a hammer to hit it in case if you you don't want to hit it with your hand. A uh, hammer will be a good idea. That way, if you are not used to do carpet, you don't get hurt. And that is that part right there. I had to put that insulation under the gas and and brake pedal and I mold and you can see I am cutting this insulation it doesn't stretch at all I you almost got this part and there is that part now you can guess uh, how the rest of the driver's side will get done. See if I want to unglue it, you see I just lift that part and unglue it easily. But as soon as I, I put pressure on it and rub it on it, uh, the glue will stick in there. But that doesn't mean that if you want to remove the carpet or the insulation or lift the insulation to run uh, like speaker cable under will be hard now will be easier to do all that thing in case if you want to do it see i am trimming that insulation in there that insulation in there you have to be a little bit like half a, half of an inch short because I'm molding going on there. If you run that insulation all the way, uh, even over the click, will be hard for you to put those uh, a mo uh, plastic trim in there. Now I'm going to make the pad wall, but I'm not going to show you how to replace the carpet. That is uh, simple. And I think you can um, make it without uh, watching me doing it. So that insulation is done and you can see how a lot of bump in there. So I got the old carpet right here. And check this out. I am not going to put a stitch. I only going to sew the heel pad in there. If it, the heel pad are necessary, yes, it's necessary. But in case if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have to put a heel pad in there. I just put a mark. I drop the, put those marks the old carpet has some mark and I just put them on there and you can see and I draw the help mark on the, on the new carpet and now I am drawing the shape of the help I am putting glue why I'm putting glue because I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and that is not going to move when I am uh, sewing So I, I'm going to sew this uh, help it in there. And it's going to be like, um, I will say, um, will take time because the, mach the inside of my machine is small. The elbow is small. So I will have to put the whole carpet through that elbow during this uh, process. But like I say, if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have to put it. You just buy a, a nice uh, floor mat and that will uh, keep the carpet in a good condition in there. If you don't put that help pad in there, uh, your uh, foot, when you press the gas or when you press, uh, press the brake, it will create a, it will damage your carpet and making a knot in there. That way from the outside look nice. So it is done that part. 
Now you see me as spraying some liquid, and you might ask, what is that liquid? What is, what is it and what it is for? Well, that is a hot water. What it is for? Well, if you are, when you apply hot water, you make that carpet more flexible. This carpet doesn't stretch. By putting water, you make it flexible. And you just have to put a glue in there. And I am putting glue all at one time. A lot of people put glue in half first, then they work on that half, and then later on they put them on the other half. I prefer to put the glue all on one time on the carpet and on the floor, but you have to have experience to do it this way because the glue might dry. If you don't have enough glue, you have to put glue again and like that. Long time ago, I used to uh, do a little by little. I'm going to use the heat gun that is, it is important because remember, I am not putting a stitch on the corner on those bump. I am not putting nothing on those stitch. It is one piece carpet. So the heat gun, hot air, it is very important. Water, it is crucial for this, do it this way. So you see, I get the carpet and I have to do, uh, do this fast. Never start gluing the carpet we are making sure that carpet is, is divided. It's uh, exactly mark on top of the mark. You see, I put a mark on the floor of the car. Then I put a mark, I, I draw a line on the padding. And you see, I draw a line on the carpet. All those lines has to uh, match each other. First thing right here, you see, I am making a pressure right there. Pressure. For me, it would be easy to put a stitch right there. You see, after I make a pressure, I put the hot water, and then I go back, rubbing and playing with that carpet. That part is the hardest part of this floor. First, the driver's side. Why the driver's side? Because there is the helipad. Now, the passenger side. The passenger side is still hard, but not, not as the driver's side. And I pull it. See, I am pulling it. I put a hot water, then I pull it, then I made this cut. I going to make I going to make some cut, but not all the way, just a little. If I have to cut more, I will cut more. I put a hot water. And then if it is necessary, I will use the heat gun right there. You see that area right there? I didn't put a stitch in there. Most of the time, uh put a stitch in there, a lot of people put a stitch in there. You saw it before how it was, they make it in a different way. If you can make this kind of carpet on one piece without stitching, just by hot water and hot air, I think you can make any kind of carpet, a little by little. If you have to put more glue, feel free to do it. See, I'm putting a hot air in there because it has to mold in that carpet in that area. And playing, you see? Playing a little by little. And that part has to come out nice. If it, this process, if you right there is giving you a hard time, just relax, my friend. Just relax. If you get desperate, if you get stressed, you will ruin the carpet. You will uh, uh, buy maybe more carpet. You know the cut pile, if you put glue and then you try to unglue, it you might ruin it. But almost had the hard part is almost done. Now I'm going to work on the driver's side. I move the heat gun to a driver's side and I start uh, putting a little by little, little by little. You have to be patient. For those of who are new on upholstery, if you think that this carpet is stretch, two-way stretch or four-way stretch, none. It doesn't stretch at all. But with water and with hot air, you force it. You force it to be flexible, and by that you can work. See, that area is nice, huh? It's nice. There are some carpet for Toyota, Honda, Nissan that are, are easier, easier. And I can believe that some people put a stitch 
But they get used to work like that. Maybe customers are not paying enough and they don't wanna try this way because they are afraid. But my friend, if you have been doing carpet for a long time ago and you never try this way, I recommend you to try it on an easy carpet. Try it and then you let me know. See? That carpet is so flexible right now because it's wet. If I try to unglue, it will unglue. If I try to remove the carpet from the uh, floor, I will remove it. See, the area is almost done. Now I'm going to work on this corner. The rest of this video, it is easier. The back part, because the uh, front part, it is done. It is done. Just need to clean it, and you will see something else later. You might never see uh, somebody using on carpet. If I has to put more glue, I would put, put more glue in there. I have to make a cut in there because there is for the uh, seat belt. Those holes have to be small. Don't make it too big because it will expose. Even right there, that's it going on top. But I, I try to make it small. And there is that area right there. I'm going to make a cut right here. I'm going to put a new carpet under the old one. And then when I make the back wall, it will be easier. Because I'm going to make the back wall to the same carpet. And it's almost done. As you can see, the passenger side is almost done. Almost done. Now I put a water on there. Water a little bit. And this is the driver's side. Just to make flexible that part in there. Uh, your sister has to be sharpened, my friend. If you don't, your sister is not sharpened, you can you can get hurt, believe me. Oh, you can use a, a, a utility knife, but it will be easy if you use a scissor. It is so important. Uh, your scissors have to be sharp, otherwise you can create a blister on your hands and and that is not good. Okay, I just pull it right there. You have glue plus water, help me a lot. And I just pull it, you see, and I am pulling through me. And you can see now that carpet is almost done. I put water, then I trim a little bit of carpet in there because still I have a 
axis in there and when you cut it that part cut it a little by little if you cut it too much it might show it might be look and that area right there is where everybody see it cut right here and I did remove the rear uh, quarter panel it is not necessary I just leave the plastic in there and I put the carpet in there and this is almost done now I am going to put this uh, plastic in there and just remember everything everything that you remove you have to put it back so put them in a safe place uh, if you have to paint those uh, molding uh, painting if you have to clean it do it I just clean it I didn't paint it and I got that plastic in there now we'll put this one see you have like a song all mark in there and there are the clicks so I just going to put like that I'm going to hit it and you will hear like a, a click that means the plastic go out to the metal and that part is done now I just going to clean it by going to do something else you see this this is a steamer what is the steamer for you might ask uh, you going to ru ruin the carpet you going to burn the carpet no most of the carpet you can apply a steamer and nothing will happen the purpose of using a steamer is to remove some bubble or to remove some wrinkle that is the purpose of using a steamer to make it look more nice see there was a bubble in there and I put the steamer and I remove it. Same thing right here. Same thing. Put the hot water and then I put the steamer. What happened if I don't put the steamer? Well, it will show some small uh, like bump in there. Like because I didn't put a lot of glue, it might look like a bubble in there. But if you don't have a steamer, just leave it like that leave it like that you know when um, uh, you buy a carpet from the dealer it doesn't have like a lot of glue and you can see this carpet I'm molding exactly uh, following the shape of the floor and you can see it it is time require uh, experience require you has to be like a how do I explain it to you positive you have to be positive if you when you going to start if you think you are not go going to be able to make it you are not going to make it because you haven't start taking apart and you start thinking negative so don't think negative be positive if you never done a uh, uh, carpet before it might look when you finish might look a little bit ugly to be honest but remember you never done carpet before you are doing your own carpet but if you have been doing carpet for a long time ago and you have been putting a stitch right here I am giving you a different uh, way how you can make a carpet how you can uh, put a carpet to your car I make it from scratch you can buy the carpet ready made and you just can install it and that will be easier but you have to spend money right here is a cheapy ways and it look nice my friend look nice before you have a stitch right there and to me my own opinion look ugly and right now look way way better compared to how it was and you can see the shape of the floor have a big bump in there and i'm molding the new carpet to that floor that amazing huh wow can't believe it can't believe it this customer will be so happy even the car the truck it is up some year now but from inside will look gorgeous my friend the purpose of my channel is just to give you an idea I have this video in Spanish for a few uh, I think a few weeks a few weeks and some people were asked me for uh, this video in English and here you have the videos here you have this video and thank you so much for supporting my channel you know if you enjoy my videos uh, uh, feel free to uh, subscribe if you, in case if you haven't 
o um, your thumbs up. Some video that I have it on a Spanish channel, I will uh, put them on this channel too. And I am working on it. I am working on the on English. That way for people who only speak English will be easier for them to understand. Because you can see me working, but sometimes I am explaining why I am doing that way or why uh, it is better that way. And I think it is better in English. They're just watching me in other language. So thank you so much for watching this video and see you later. Bye-bye.